What's up everyone? Welcome to Homebrew Subaru. I've got another product review for you today. It's going to be a little bit of an unboxing product review and then a bit of how-to. I'm going to actually dig out the tool, use it on my Subaru, kind of show you some of the options that it has. It is a diagnostic hand tool, very similar to the old power probes. I actually had one myself. I either gave it to my apprentice or I sold it to somebody. I can't even remember. It's been so long. But I realized the options on this thing were so close to that power probe. And then it came with a secondary hand tool for finding circuit breaks. And when the seller kind of showed me that part of it, I was like, okay, send it. I'll, I'll actually review this thing and see how it works. So I haven't even had this thing out of the box yet. And that's the first thing is get it out of the box, see what the contents is, and then start to review what it actually does. This is the V Diag Tool V200 Pro, and it comes with the power probe style tool, the circuit breaker wand, and a bunch of extension wiring so that you can reach from the front of the vehicle to the rear. So to start with, let's dig this guy out of the box. And there's actually a case inside. Couple quick snaps here on the front. Everything's inside here, so it looks like uh, they've bagged up both of the tools. This is the actual wand here. I press the button, I can hear it. And then the probe itself. Uh, you've got to get the probe out of the box here. Uh, it doesn't look threaded, so maybe it just pushes in. Yes, it just pushes into place. Really nice thick probe end, really sharp. Bunch of cabling coming off the end of it. Looks like you can uh, just plug this in right here, like so. And that will hook up directly to your car's battery so that you can do the testing. Like a power probe, you can give power or give ground. Uh, so we'll have to test, test through some of those options. I'm not quite sure what this switch is for yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And then I, I'm pretty confident one of these circuits is for uh, sending the, you know, the transmitted signal down the circuit so that you can, you can actually find it with the wand. And then it looks like it's actually got a, you know, power outlet adapter that you can plug into, cigarette lighter adapter, and then a giant extension so you can get this thing to the end of the vehicle. Really nice cabling, really thick stuff. Looks like it'll handle, you know, at least, you know, 10, 15 amps pretty easy. And then under the bottom here, some kind of user manual. And it looks like it's got the tool description. And it does actually have some of the procedures. So I was going to whip out my power station and power this tool up with the power outlet adapter or the cigarette lighter adapter. But I think for the purpose of this video, just to begin with, we're just going to use a regular car battery. Now I'm just realizing this bundled wire is quite long. It's probably, you know, 15, 20 feet. And then with another 15, 20 foot extension, you could literally be testing trailers if you really wanted to. To start, I'm just going to hook up these alligator clips to the battery negative and positive. Now I'm not quite sure what type of power protection these leads actually have and I don't think they need any because there's nothing really hooked up to them and likely there's some type of circuit breaker right inside the tool but I think you got to use a switch. Yeah so you hit the switch to the first position and the actual probe powers on. It's ready to test voltage first thing and hitting up gives us it appears a 12 volt B positive and putting it down gives us a ground indicating it with green. That's, that's really nice. Some LED lights on the front of it. Let's just see if I can actually just probe the top of this battery. And yes, it does definitely show. We've got 11.9 volts on the battery there. We can put it right over to the ground side and it's showing ground. And with this little digital screen, you can pretty much use it as a multimeter. You can switch over to alternating current and check your ohms for resistance. And it actually has a diode check in it as well. So just like the old power probe tools, this V-Diag tool will also uh, apply power. And so I've got my regular test light hooked up on ground. And if we just go with, with the tool, it'll show us there's zero volts. I can apply voltage to the end of my test light. And sure enough, it lights up red. It's showing that we're passing through 12 volts. 
And the same thing on the opposite end, if we take the alligator clip and put it on the positive lead of the battery, and then go ahead and check the end of this, it's actually going to show us a little bit of voltage trying to come through. But if we give it ground, the test light lights up a nice green solid ground on the LED there. And then at the same time, we can do some testing right on our hand. We can use this black lead as a ground. I'm just going to attach this 194 bulb to the end of that. And the other end up onto the probe here. And if we hit power, well, kind of hard for the camera to see, but we are getting this bulb to light up. So next we'll just do a quick continuity or resistance check and I'm just going to use this standard piece of wire. There's going to be no resistance to this wire. Hook it up to the black lead coming out of the tool and then switch the tool with the red button over to ohms and it says OL right now for out of limits and we're just going to touch the red lead onto the end there and it's showing us zero ohms, zero resistance and it confirmed that we touched continuity by the beep so needless to say if you've used a power probe tool before you are going to be very familiarized with this first portion of the kit this tester will basically do all your voltage checks apply and test voltage great for checking relays under the hood but moving on to the second portion of this is the actual circuit breaker finder which works in conjunction with the power probe end of the kit. With the probe still hooked up to battery power, we actually need to power it down by hitting the toggle switch to the middle position and then down to the second position. This will not turn the tool on, but the tool starts to send a radio frequency down the red lead. And if we hook it up to this other wire that I have, we should be able to extend that down this yellow wire. Next, we're going to just turn on the breaker finder tool by hitting the wheel and about halfway down and pushing the test button. We can actually hear some radio frequency coming through. I'm going to extend out the antenna a little bit here and just kind of pass it along and check it myself and then I'll back the camera up. And I got a good signal all to the all the way to the end of the yellow wire, and as I passed away, it started to fade. So I'll kind of show you at a distance what this is actually doing. So just to give you a better example before we try it on the vehicle, I've got the red lead coming from the probe end of the tool going into the yellow wire here on my bench, and the yellow wire is connected to a brown wire that's just kind of drooped over in front here. And as we go along with the circuit breaker finder. We're going to find that it picks up the radio signal going all the way through this wire. To the end of the brown wire. But as I get away from the brown wire, I lose the signal. So let's just simulate. This is a circuit inside the vehicle. This portion of the circuit has been rubbing on something for five years. And it's finally actually broken through. And we're like, oh no, my headlights or my horn stopped working or, or whatever it is. We're going to go probing that wire that we're concerned about. And then as we get over into the broken end of the wire, the signal just deteriorates and gets worse. It's still kind of picking it up because, well, maybe I have the sensitivity a little too high on the tool. But going all the way down here into the brown wire we've lost our signal completely. So we know somewhere between this point and this point, this wire is broken. So now let's move over to my Forester. We'll go through some of the same options what we went through and then actually do a wire scan and trace in the vehicle. Okay, so here we are with my Forester. We're just about to hook up, but first thing you wanna be very wary of is how much extra wiring this probe comes with. It's not something you wanna leave lying in front of the fan or the accessory belt. Make sure you get it tucked up out of the way. I'm just going to go ahead and attach my alligator leads to the back to the top of the battery. And then we're going to turn it on by hitting the switch to the number one position. And that powers up the tool. And right away we can just go ahead and check battery positive. We get 12.3 volts. Showing ground there. And I mean, right away, you can start checking for ground in various places. Like if, if you're just wondering if something is ground or how good of a ground it might be, 
you can actually just start probing wherever you'd like. And checking for power, we're just going to go into the fuse center right here, nice and easy. And I mean, one of these leads coming in should be good power, which they are. You go ahead and just go ahead and start checking fuses. It lights up with the fuses. And then just having a quick look through here, it looks like the horn relay is this guy here. Now there is no actual diagram on the relay, but just looking at it, there's two smaller terminals and two larger ones. The smaller ones will be our control wires and the larger ones are what we're trying to pass through. Remember you got this nice LED light on the front of this thing can really light up where you're looking into. And just looking into the socket here for the horn relay, we've got power coming in on one of the control circuits and we've got nothing on the other one. So that'll likely be our ground coming in. And then the two larger terminals, one is 12 volt B positive and the other one is just a ground. So we're likely going to pass the B positive to the ground circuit and just holding that in there and hitting up on the switch, we should pass power down to the horn and make it activate. And sure enough, we can do it right from here with this tool. Now the next thing I'd like to try is a breaker finder and we're going to use it to trace a circuit. And for intents and purpose, we are just going to use this AC clutch wire. I no longer have a compressor in the vehicle, but for those in the know that work on Subarus, that wire traces along this alternator harness and kind of goes over in this direction. But for those that don't know, I mean, for all you know, that wiring kind of wraps around this way and goes through the bulkhead connector through the firewall on that side. So I'm just going to connect that red lead. We have the switch in the second position. And then I'm going to hook this red lead up to that circuit. And then we're going to just try and trace this circuit with the breaker finder tool. And there I've got a good connection on the red wire. It's in that blue wire. I'm still getting it in the harness. And this harness kind of branches off in two directions. One goes that way underneath the windshield washer reservoir. Which it does not seem to go that way. And the other part, portion of the harness comes up towards just another bulkhead connector underneath the fuse panel. And there it's really picked it up well going all the way to the fender. So you know that wiring goes into the fender it does not go in this direction over towards the firewall and we'll just check over there to see if we get any kind of signal and we can turn up the sensitivity just kind of come through the wiring over on this side and for sure that wire does not come over in this direction but as we head over here we can pick it right back up again. So I mean, you can really see how this toolkit would be very beneficial for chasing after circuits. Instead of checking resistance and continuity and power and ground at certain locations, you can literally hook up that lead and sweep across the wiring to see exactly where it is that it, it is leading to. Whether it's just through the firewall, whether it's into the cabin to the rear of the vehicle, this is going to allow you to trace that wire without dismantling everything. Now, because this video is sponsored, the real question here is, would I spend my own money on this toolkit? And 100%, 100% I would. If I had this kit 20, 25 years ago, my life would have been so much easier. Just the amount of stress this thing would have saved me that long ago. I mean, it would have paid for itself in no time at all, for sure. Uh, having it as two tools in one, pretty much. So getting a whole power probe along with the circuit breaker finder makes it an excellent kit for the price that it's offered at. Absolutely, 100%. If you're a technician still working on a lot of electronics and diagnostics, you need a kit like this. I'm going to leave some links down in the description below. You can go check out the tool all on your own. I'm also going to have a 10% off link down there so you can get it on Amazon if you wish. I was actually thinking I would do a giveaway on this thing, but after using it, no. This is going in my toolbox for the times that I need it. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.